Hey, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Given the huge popularity of the Barbie movie, I wanted to show you how you could bring a smile to a little one who would love to see her or his name in the style of the Barbie or Ken logos with the retro look of surrounding sparkling rhinestones. Barbie's logo has a long history spanning more than six decades, but while the logo has undergone many iterations, it's maintained a text-based design and the same pink color. I provided a link to a font that was used for the Barbie logo from 1999 to 2004. Its name is Dolly Script. I also provided this background that you could place the logo onto, as well as a retro twinkle brush set that will add to our logo to make it sparkle. All three links are in my video's description or project files. Before we begin, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, hit that subscribe button and welcome. The first step is to type out our text. Open the horizontal type tool and type picker. After you install the font Dolly script, type it in and click it. I'll make it 320 points but feel free to adjust its size. Make the aliasing smooth and center alignment. Click the color box, and when the color picker opens, type into the hexadecimal field E C 4 3 9 9, which is one of Barbie's official pink colors. There are others which are a bit darker. I like this one. By the way, Ken's official blue color is 0 0. C, D, F, F. Click on the document and type out your text. To adjust the space between all the characters, known as tracking, highlight the entire line of text and press and hold Alt or Option and the right or left arrow key on your keyboard. To adjust the space between just two characters, known as kerning, Place your cursor between those characters and repeat the same keystrokes. To position it, open your Move tool and drag it to the center. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Double-click an empty area of the text layer to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, the technique is Chisel Hard, and the depth is 150%. The direction is Up, the size is 40 pixels, and the Soften is 0. Use Global Light is checked. The angle is 120 degrees, and the altitude is 30 degrees. Click the arrow next to the Glass Contour thumbnail, and click Small or Large List. Click Cone. The highlight mode is Screen, the color is White, and the opacity is 50%. The shadow mode is Multiply, the color is Black, and its opacity is 25%. Click Drop Shadow. The Blend mode is Multiply, the color is Black, and the opacity is 40%. The angle is 120 degrees, the distance is 14 pixels, and the spread and size are both zero. The contour is linear. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. To save some space in the Layers panel, let's collapse the effects. We'll make a new layer under it by Control or Command clicking the New Layer icon. Control or Command click our text layer to select its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. Expand the selection by 40 pixels. We'll smooth out the selection by opening the Paths panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Paths. Click the icon at the upper right and click Make Work Path. Make the tolerance 4 pixels. Open the flyout list again and click Make Selection. Feather it 0 pixels. Click the foreground color 
to open the color picker. In the hexadecimal field, type in 6, 2, 0, 0, 3, 2. To fill the selection with our new foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Then deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Double click Layer 1 to open the Layer Style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, the technique is Chisel Hard, and the depth is 100%. The direction is Up, the size is 10 pixels, and the soften is 0. The angle is 120 degrees, and the altitude is 30 degrees. The glass contour is Ring Double. The highlight mode is Linear Dodge, the color is white, and the opacity is 50%. The shadow mode is irrelevant since its opacity is zero. Let's collapse these effects as well. Make the top layer active, and click the new layer icon to make a new layer above it. I'll name it Bling. You could name it Rhinestones or whatever you like. Control or Command click the text layer below it to select its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Expand. Expand it 15 pixels. Open the Paths panel, open the Flyout list, and click Make Work Path. The tolerance is 2 pixels. Open the Pencil Tool and Pencil Picker. Pick a soft round or hard round point and make its size 20 pixels. Press the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open the Brush Settings panel, or you could go to Window and Brush Settings. Make sure all the brush tip shapes are unchecked. Make the spacing 100%. We want white to be our foreground color. If white is your background color, press X to invert them. Open the Paths Panel Flyout list and click Stroke Path. The Stroke Path window will open. If you don't see Pencil, open the Flyout list and click it. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. We can close the Brush Settings panel now. To hide the work paths, Click anywhere inside the Paths panel. Open back the Layers panel and double-click the Bling layer to open the Layer Style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel, the technique is Smooth, and the depth is 350%. The direction is Up, the size is 5 pixels, and the soften is 0. The angle and altitude are 120 and 30 degrees, respectively. The glass contour is Ring. The highlight mode is Screen. The color is White. And the opacity is 75%. The shadow mode is Multiply. The color is Black. And its opacity is also 75%. Click Inner Shadow. The Blend Mode is Multiply, the color is Black, and the opacity is 50%. The angle is 120 degrees, the distance is 3 pixels, the choke is 0, and the size is 3 pixels. Collapse the effects and make a new layer. I'll name it Glints. Open your Brush Tool and Brush Picker. Open the Twinkle Brush that I provided and feel free to choose any of the brushes. I'll pick Star 2. I'll make the size 400 pixels and click over various rhinestones to add glints to them. Feel free to adjust the size of the Twinkle Brush if you like. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.